I know the CB, there, there's a new closed beta, right? That's probably happening like right now. So I'm assuming this will be the final closed beta. And then I'm assuming the release will be soon. I have not gotten access yet, which is really pissing me off. Nine days? Dude, I better get invited to that shit. Regardless, apparently there's six massive redesigns in Wuthering Waves. The perfect character design takes hundreds of tiny revisions to get. Yeah, and this character is not it. This character looks terrible. Right. And nowhere is this on display better than in Withering Waves. Okay. But we're not here to talk about the tiny things like how Yang Yang lost her bandages or okay. how the model quality itself is higher now. Yep. These are the six playable characters who have been changed so massively, they might as well be different characters. Okay, I didn't know this. The major errors of pre-release Now, the problem with massive redesigns is that they, all, they, they don't always work. Like, I'll be real, I think old Twitch from League of Legends is better than new Twitch. So, and I also think old Skarner is better than new Skarner. So these might be six massive redesigns, but that's not to say that there's six massive good redesigns. During waves can be split up into technical test, first closed beta test, and second closed beta test. Okay. More Teffy was notable for being in all three eras and is a hot-headed scientist with a Roy Mustang style penchant for busting out his lighter. Okay. In the tech test, he had a serious case of bed hair and a dragon tail. Should probably mention that. Being a resonator comes okay. with certain mutations of the body. Sick. And Morteffi had some of the most obvious ones. Scales on his chest, hand, and of course, that giant tail. Not a very stylish hole you've got in the back there, sir. Reptilian mutations aside, he generally just looked more unkempt. Right. As of the first closed beta test, he's become much more refined. The bedhead has been tamed, the dragon tail has vanished. Third, what the f Why? They took away his dragon tail, bro? Why? While I'll miss the more extreme mutations, I can't deny he has a more appealing design now. CBT2 maintained this design, only opting to clean up the model a bit. Oh, dude. I thought that shit was so cool. Oh, damn, bro. Damn, damn, damn. Because that means if we can't have dragon dudes... Then how are we going to have cat girls, bro? Oh my god. Whatever, man. Okay. He looks cleaner up top. I'm going to miss that shit, though, man. I'm going to miss that shit. Baichu is a nerd. Pretty, but ordinary. In the tech test, she dressed... Careful, you're going to make her cry. She plays gotcha games. ...for the job and looked somewhat capable, as well as had a different name. Bailian. But what's that on her hand? Yep. Back in the tech test era, instead of the waveform-like mark each character has nowadays, yep. they had these star-shaped marks instead. I remember that. In fact, this old mark bears some resemblance to the star core on a tacit discord. Coincidence? Right. Once the first closed beta test came around, this star pattern was replaced with what we now know as the tacit mark. Baichu's okay. mark moved to her thigh, but her outfit remained mostly unchanged. Yeah, I think that shit is so slutty. I love it. Yo, I can't wait for there to be like some fine ass chick that has like the tramp stamp of the wave mark on their upper uh, or lower back. That shit is so sexy, bro. Like, or like some chick to have it between their tits, bro. It's so hot. She looks she better. She gained some makeup and a generally cooler demeanor, fitting as she's the first Glacio character you're likely to obtain. Yep. Most noticeably, she's sporting a cool new dye job with a streak in the front. Largely the same design, looks good. just more refined. Looks good. Not refined enough, though. The second closed beta test saw a lot of changes. God damn, that change is drastic. Including her new name. Baich's hair is darker and out of her face, turning light green at the bottom. I will say, I think I like the old hair better. I do. I do I do like the old hair better. That's just me. We have enough characters that are going to have just like dark black hair. That's just me. The weird little braid is gone. Eyes changed from purple to green. And her face has a lot of attitude. Yeah, I, I do think overall, I do think she looks better after the rework. Overall. Overall, I do think she looks better. Baich's once outdoorsy outfit has been replaced with a tiny dress. Yep. Or so it seems. Fun fact, these are actually the world's shortest shorts. Or maybe it's just a leotard. This is to say nothing of Yotan, the creature she summons to fight, who is yeah, I was just looking at the boobs and a healthy glow. Every now and then, a game has a design so terrible that you wonder if you can tolerate playing it. Tech Test Verena was- Bro, thank God somebody else said it. Like, she looked so bad. It, dude, and people were defending this shit. It's so infuriating. Like, bro, you think that's good? You don't have eyeballs, brother. Brother man, you are high. Her new design is 10 out of 10. I haven't seen it. We'll see. It's going to be very hard to fix this. 
because this is a nightmare was that character for me. She's got all the hallmarks of a bad design. Yep. Bad haircut. Yep. A weird spacesuit that doesn't yep. fit the setting. Stupid as shit. An extremely low cut top on a tiny child. Weird as shit. The list goes on. It's so and weird. On. And on. It's so weird. If I played a game with this creature in it, I'd feel obligated to walk myself to jail. It's weird. If you zoom in real close to her goggles, you can make out the text, I got lost on the path of life, which is one, extremely funny, and two, very fitting. Wait a sec, I know that line from somewhere. Sorry I'm late, afraid I got lost on the path of life. Oh, Naruto! How the f*** did you catch that reference, bro? But why? Oh. Oh. Shut the f Oh my god! Someone out there showed mercy yep. on me because she had a huge redesign in the first closed beta. Okay. One hairstyle, brand new outfit. To solidify her connection with plants, her mutation is a vine growing from her neck that she referred to as a tail. Kind of creepy, but in a way I appreciate. That's, it makes sense, that's cool. CBT2 brought even more changes for Verena, including her name. She used to be called Jueyuan. She's been squished down into a smaller, more cutesy package, and she's lost the purple on her top. The vestigial goggles from her old design are gone, which was probably the right choice since they weren't fitting in with her more. Uh, I'm gonna say something that a lot of y'all probably aren't gonna like, but I'm gonna keep it 100%, guys. I think she still looks bad. You can like her if you like. I think the planchet's cool, but uh, yeah, I feel like she uh, she looks pretty shit, my opinion. A floral outfit, but it's replaced with a ribbon, which I think makes her head look too busy with her intricate hairstyle. Yep. Remove the ribbon, and we're in business. I'm a little sad she looks even younger, but there's no doubt this design is leagues better than that. On the yeah, opposite end of the spectrum, Yinlin was introduced in the first closed beta to okay. resounding cheers. This puppeteer dazzled her way into my heart with her lightning strings and, frankly, amazing voice. Green light, green light, red light. Don't be naughty. Obey me. Okay, now you're just, bro, okay. Kuro Games, let's calm down with the horny pills, okay? Let's not tell our employees we have to take Viagra before we start developing female characters, okay? Let's let's just be real. This is made for Coomers, okay? Which means I will be maining this character. Play to me. Stay where you are. Meaningless stubbornness. But there was something missing. Despite the attitude she showed in cutscenes, yep. her default expression was uncharacteristically devoid of emotion. Yep. Blank. Her outfit was cool, but unbalanced, like she forgot to put on pants. Yep. Her transformation has been one of the most surprising. As of the second closed beta, she sports a more severe Bro. look that suits her personality, elf ears, and a more classy hairstyle. There's some holdovers from her old- She looks so hot, it's actually unbelievable. Like, dude, they, they nailed this redesign out of the park. Like, it, it looks so good. They, they absolutely smashed this shit, bro. Old outfit, but most things have been completely changed. Yep. Sick gloves, though. It's clear that Yinlin has become the fan service character, but even to that end, I think her outfit still leaves something to be desired. Instead of being unbalanced, it's now very busy, and she seems more suited for a catwalk than sprinting across miles of craggy mountainside. Uh, I'm gonna be real. I think she looks hot as f and I think you're stupid. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. Yeah, I think she looks sexy as f and you should shut your mouth before you talk to my queen like that. Jackass, she looks good. Stick her new head on her old body and give her pants and then we'll be talking. Okay, low key though, the pants look hot as <laughs> Okay, all right, maybe you're cooking. Cause the pants do look sexy as I do like that. I do, I like her new face. I like her new face, but that, that shit, that shit kind of look good though, actually, low key. Cross miles of craggy mountainside. Stick her new head on her old body and give her pants and then we'll be talking. Yeah, her new face do look way better. Nah, but I, I like the sexy ass, uh, the sexy ass tit window, bro. That shit looks good. That shit looks real good. Originally an NPC for the first closed beta, a Wu was met with some pushback for two main reasons. One, he was perceived as being too rude, and two, he was too. Is smart. that? As for me, I thought he had a very strong design and emphasized a point being made by the other character designs. Resonators bear mutations. 
Some can hardly be noticed at all, while some are more severe. As right. for personality, the poor English translation of the first closed beta made it hard to understand, uh. but a woo came across as young and cheeky to me rather than insulting. What happens when you shave a tiger who might actually be a snow leopard, but I can't tell animals apart, apparently? Uh. You get Ling Yang, who is a lion. All of Awu's brawling, lion dancing traits were assimilated into Ling Yang. Coincidentally, I recently learned what traditional Chinese lion art looks like, yep. and I think they would be good friends with Irish lions. There's no doubt that Ling Yang's design is the safer choice, but I fear that reducing his beast like features may imply that braver designs are off the table. Yeah, I think I prefer the old design. I mean, I'll, I'll be real. I think both designs are actually pretty good. I think I would have preferred full furries just because that means in the future we could get like what bro that's awesome you wouldn't want like a jacked like tiger guy who fights with his claws okay jet no it's dude 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 okay if this was a girl sure you could call me a furry i just think it'd be cool to have more primal looking creatures that's cool as Notably, Awu had a unique hand and foot shape, which is something designers often avoid for simplicity's sake. I hope that even though Awu is dead, we can still see elements of his design in future characters. Yeah. I think bestial characters make fantasy worlds stronger. I agree. But I, 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 also... I one million percent agree. I one million percent agree. The more the more bestial a character be, the more it opens up. That's like that's why I like Torrens in World of Warcraft, right? It feels cool. They have their own unique identity and their own way that they can act and shit because they're more like those animals than other humans. It just looks cool. Huge heroes of might and magic three fans, so take yep. that how you will. Yep. I need a scary lady with giant claws so bad you don't understand. The yeah, technical I agree. test was a scary time for none more so than Shushia. You thought those were normal. Bro, she looks terrible. Sneakers. She looks nope. so bad. Secret high heels. Her vaguely schoolgirl looking outfit was at odds with the serious setting of the game. Nothing about this look screamed spunky gunslinger, Shut and up. perhaps that was part of the problem. She looks terrible. She was so perfectly ordinary that she couldn't stand out at all. Yeah, she looks like um she she looks like she was supposed to be a cheap knockoff of Tifa from Final Fa Final Fantasy VII. Like that's exactly what she screams, and I think that's what they were going for. But the thing is, Tifa isn't iconic because her outfit's really cool. She's really iconic because she had really huge boobs back in the era where games didn't have that shit, and people remember her fondly because of that. Right, so she. Tifa doesn't really have don't get me wrong I am weak as for Tifa because it's because of nostalgia not because her outfit's crazy perfectly she ordered. looks like a you PC couldn't stand here. out at all. At all. Especially so when you consider that Rover, Yang Yang, and Baichu all had black hair back then. Mm -hmm. Rover in particular bore many similarities to Tech Test Chusia, and yep. given that the first four characters you would see in Withering Waves all had the same hair color, yep. everyone just sort of blended together. Yep. Enter the first closed beta test. Completely changed from head to toe, Chusia got a color injection Wait, and a fiery personality. That's her? What the f I didn't know those were the same characters. Dude, yeah, I f with this chick's design heavily. Like, she looks, she looks good, good, good. They should have kept the insane boobs, though. Like, they should have kept the insane f boobs. But, I get it. ...to match. Too fiery, perhaps. She received criticism for excessively threatening the rover, who had just saved her and her friends but who had also absorbed a terrible creature, scaring Chusia in doing so. I hate when people don't like characters just because they might be doing some brash, unreasonable shit. Because that's how characters are, bro. As of the second closed beta, Yang Yang no longer finds the rover at the beginning of the game on her own. Now Chusia is by her side. Yep. Visually, she looks the same as in the first closed beta, but it remains to be seen how prior criticism will impact her role looks and awesome. personality throughout the game. Overall, I think Dude, and, and she also feels really good to play, too. Like, bro, she feels so buttery, it's insane. Make for strong, distinct designs that will help flesh out the world this and is good. set it apart from others. A few small I think some were W, some were L's, but I think overall, it's better for the game, all the changes that happened. All tweaks here and there would make them perfect to me, but they already have plenty of fans as is. Absolutely. Aesthetics are all well and good, but does the game feel good to play? Find out yes. in this video, where we cover how much the combat has changed in the last several months. Oh shit, there's another one? Okay, damn. All right. Let's find out. Hey, like, comment, subscribe, and go follow the original channel, Wuthering Radio. Really cool stuff.